Guess who's making a video? Guess who's making a video? Guess who's making a video? I got my receipts because I don't have a reason to lie. So for the people that's in denial about how what a phony Walt is, that's y'all problem. Okay, he didn't live with y'all. But like I said, the receipts, text messages between me and him in the video. This video is going to be about my brother and y'all. Uh, okay, um, try to be cool, but I had to make this video because my brother just basically used me, guys, the whole time. Um, there was no genuine um, bond being created between me and my brother. Uh, on my end, it was. It was very genuine, okay? Um, I really feel that my brother orchestrated, you know, coming to me uh, in, when I was in Milwaukee because he probably felt like I would put him up and take him in. And guys, I did do that. I feel like... I'm feeling a lot of emotions, guys, okay? Uh, I feel hurt. I feel um, betrayed. I feel like there was no loyalty, you know, there, period, okay? All of y'all know that Walt is my brother. That's my sibling, okay? And I'm going to say it like this, okay? from having him stay with me. I can definitely see why Cindy did what she did. And I got to say this, Cindy, I apologize to you because I now know what you went through, okay? And I, he didn't even tell me he was coming to stay with me at all. Never mentioned that. Brought his things to my house. Was at my house. Y'all know. Y'all saw. Okay. All of a sudden, Walt was just there. Listen, guys. When I was in Milwaukee, I was in a program called a rap program. And it is for people that, for due to COVID, people that may get behind and they rent or whatever. Even though I really didn't, guys. Okay. But I was qualified for this program. So I figure if the state or the government gonna pay for this, why should I spend my money? So the rent was not an issue for me before I left at that house. And that is why I never asked my brother for a thing. He didn't pay me anything, y'all. The first month that he was living with me, okay? I figured if I'm not paying rent, what I look like charging him rent? No, and I didn't. Y'all can ask, okay? Only way y'all gonna do that is in a lie because y'all know he don't, so say he don't watch the videos or respond. But all I'm saying is there was still an electric bill that had to be paid, Wi-Fi, okay? And I think that was really it, guys. It's just to keep the, uh, the Wi-Fi and the electric bill. Yeah, that was all, you know. But I never asked Walt for a, a dime. I never asked him for a penny, y'all. I never did. Walt got his money, okay? He never offered me a dime. What's up, everybody? Letitia here, and I am back again with another reaction video. And on today's video, I am going to be reacting to... Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Adrian Slay's and Walt from Chillin' with Walt, brother and sister, they fell out. 
But before we get started with this video, make sure you guys do me a favor and you hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell right next to it, comment, share, and like this video. So guys, <clears throat> this is a mess. A whole, whole hot behind a SS mess. Okay? Mm. Tonight I'm drinking some Pat Ron, AKA Patron. That's what's in my glass tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. mm. But let me just say this first. <clears throat> when Walt and Adrian first started living together, well, actually not living together, but when Walt moved into Adrian's house unexpectedly back before December, before Thanksgiving, before Christmas, we all knew that at some point this fallout was going to happen because that's what Adrian does. If you piss her off, she going to air you out on YouTube. And I believe that that's, how her channel grew because of how she airs out her family on YouTube. Now, most of us will say that we don't agree with someone, you know, bringing their family's dirty laundry to the internet, into these YouTube streets. But guess what? It is what it is. People are gonna do what they wanna do no matter how much we as viewers or supporters or whatever the case may be, may tell them, oh no, 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 don't bring your family business to the internet, that's not right, that's not cool, family business supposed to stay, you know, behind closed doors, yada, 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 yada. If that's what a person does, that's what they're gonna do. And guess what? When a person like that do stuff like that, stuff like that, they have people like me that react to it and give commentary on it, so let's go. Hmm. I tell you, you leave the, the YouTube streets for a couple of hours or a couple of days or a couple of minutes or whatever. And next thing you know, they ju it's just content out there. It's like the gifts that keep on giving. Okay. <laughs> so y'all, what I did tonight is I took the liberty of writing down a few notes basically the things that Adrian was saying in her video because I don't want to misquote her and um I did it a little bit different tonight as opposed to me watching it with you guys and reacting to it I'm doing it differently tonight because the video was like 38 minutes long and I don't want to make a 38 minute video so that's why I'm doing the video the way that I did it tonight you know that's a lot of work too but anyway we're gonna go ahead and go through the things that Adrian said about Walt. First, she said she felt hurt and betrayed. <clears throat> betrayed, that's a strong, strong word right there, sis. I don't know if he betrayed you because um, from what I understand, if you betray someone, that means that, you know, you did something behind their back or something like that. I don't know. Maybe he did something behind her back. Why did she use the word betray? What did he do other than not help her pay bills and leech off of her? Hmm? I do believe that Adrian fell hurt. And I believe she felt hurt because Adrian was really trying to build a bond with her brother. She was really trying to build. You could tell in her videos how happy she was that he was there. You could tell in her videos how happy she was just to be in his presence like as brother and sister. You understand what I'm saying? You've seen it. I'll never forget a video where she bought him a pair of jeans. She was so happy to give him those jeans. And when she said tonight that, you know, he was a user 
and that he wasn't really there to build a bond with her. When I watched that video, when she, when she gave him a pair of jeans, in fact, I believe it was, was one of Walter's lives. And when she gave him the jeans, she, like I said, she was so happy to give them to him. And he just looked at him and you could tell that in my opinion, it didn't look like he was too thrilled about those jeans. It was like, okay, okay, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I said to myself, Walt don't like them jeans. <laughs> so I already said that she said he was a user. She said also that she told her family that she was not going to blast them on YouTube anymore. This is what she told Bethany. And she also told this to Walter that she wouldn't do this. But Adrian said, I changed my mind because he didn't show no loyalty. <laughs> That's what she said. So here's a few other things that she said. She said that she didn't want no drama. Hard to tell. She said that her job is to expose people. Didn't I say that in earlier in the video? I didn't say it exactly like that, but I did say this is what she do. So Bethany, if you're watching this video, Please don't get on Adrian's bad side again, because although she told you that she would never expose you again, hmm. I beg to differ. So she also she also called him a liar. Uh, 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 she said he's phony. She said that he was phony. For her to say that he was phony, that means that off camera, he's showing something else. In my opinion, that's what I, that's what I'm thinking. I don't know that to be true or actual and factual, but for her to call him phony, what do you guys think that means? Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Why do you think that? She called, what's his name on his, chilling with Walt. I was getting ready to say, kicking it with Walt. <laughs> I was getting ready to say, kicking it with Walt. In my opinion, what she's trying to say is that chilling with Walt is chilling with Walt on camera. And then when he get off, he Walt. <laughs> okay let's get into what else she said okay she talked about when walt first came to her house in milwaukee she said he called her a couple of days before christmas right and she said that when he got there he had a big bag you know According to his bag, she knew that something was wrong. She said she just gave him a key right away. Who does that? Let me tell y'all something. I got family members that, that's that been in my life, my entire life. And I'm not giving them a key as soon as they get off a bus after leaving from their woman's house or a man's house or whoever. Why did you do that, Adrian? I understand that you wanted to build a relationship with your brother and all of that, but first of all, they had to, they would have had to have been some type of conversation, some type of conversation between us so that we can set some ground rules. How long are you going to be here? This, 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 that, 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 yada, yada, yada. She was so happy and excited and ecstatic to build a relationship and a bond with her brother that she didn't think about none of those things. She just hands down, just handed him a key. He's practically a stranger to you. 
I'm sorry. I wouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. She also said that, as y'all seen in the clip, she was in some program called Rap or Rat or whatever it was called. And in this program, this program, when you tested positive for COVID, they paid your rent. But she said something interesting in <laughs> the video that I was like, Adrian, you got 25,000 people watching you. You going to say this? Well, you got 25,000 subscribers. <laughs> Excuse me. Why would you say in the video that your rent wasn't delinquent and you didn't really need the people, the program's money. I, that wasn't smart. No, that was not smart, Adrian. You shouldn't have said that. I think you need to take that video down and re-edit it and take that out. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so what else did she say? She said that because she wasn't paying rent. She didn't expect him. She, she wasn't going to ask him for rent, which um, I mean, that's fair that you wouldn't ask for rent or whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't give a kitty if I'm paying rent or not where I live. If you're staying with me, you're going to give me something because you can't live anywhere for free. Just like Cindy said in her video. You can't live nowhere for free. Okay. <clears throat> she said that he didn't pay rent, but he should have offered. I agree. He should have offered. Well, why didn't you offer to pay something? Come on, Walt. I'm going to get on Walt in a second. I'm going to get on Walt in a second. <clears throat> She said he never offered her a dime and he had access to her car every day and that he would stay overnight with her car and she had to address him about staying overnight in her car, keeping her car overnight. Who does that? She had every right to let him know that from here on out, You cannot keep my car overnight because I mean, at the end of the day, I don't give a damn. You're going to worry if the person is going to get into an accident or whatever, tear your car up. You know what I'm saying? And if those things happen, your insurance, you don't have him down as an additional driver. You know what I mean? And can he help pay for whatever damages that the insurance won't cover? Come on now. So I feel her on that. Well, you're not looking good. You're not looking good right now. I'm sorry. You're not looking good. You're not looking good. You're not looking good. So <clears throat> she said that her mom and her uncle warned her about this walk. She said that when she asked him to give her a thousand dollars towards the rent in the place that they were staying in next thing you know he was packing his bags and he was ready to go walk 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 now at the at that point when i was watching the video i was kind of on walt's side in terms of him paying rent there at her place because he was in a live video saying that he wasn't staying in Florida. Okay. He was saying that he wasn't staying in Florida and that <clears throat> he was going to be going back to Milwaukee. And, you know, ultimately he wants, he want to go to Vegas. So I guess in his mind, he was thinking like, I'm not even going to be here. So why am I paying rent? This is what I'm thinking that he probably probably was thinking, you know, and I could agree with him on that. Now, 
this is where I started to feel like, well, maybe he should have given her money towards the rent because she, she said she asked him when was he planning to go to Vegas? And he says sometime this year. Okay, so sometime this year means what? In the next month, in the next two months, the next three months. And if it is three months from now, bro, no, you gotta pay rent. You gotta pay rent here, okay? <laughs> this ain't no free ride. So when she said that he, when she said that she asked him for a thousand dollars and he started packing his things and get, and he left immediately, immediately I started thinking, Walt is the type of person that runs from problems. He don't want to face things head on. She said something in the video and she hit it spot on. She said he's like a grown man with a child's mind. But let's break that down some. She said he's like a grown man with a child's mind. So the fact that he run at the sign of trouble The fact that his relationship with Cindy didn't work out. The fact that he won't get an apartment of his own. Why won't he just get an apartment of his own? Well, when are you going to get an apartment of your own? No shade. But you're a grown man. When are you going to get an apartment? With all those things that I just said, it sounds like he's afraid of commitment. Okay? Sound like he's afraid of commitment. He something happened to make him not want to commit to responsibilities. Right? A lot of times when people suffer from some type of trauma, whether it's childhood trauma, or trauma that happened in your adult life, it could do something to your head, your brain. And one of the things is it could possibly make you not want to commit to things. I don't know, maybe something triggered in him when he got shot. 13 times he said he got shot. What happened? What happened? What is going on? Did, did the trauma affect his brain some kind of way? Because sometimes when you, when you are affected by some type of trauma, I don't know where he got shot. But the trauma must have affected his brain in some kind of way to where now he can't make adult decisions and do adult things. What are you going to do? I mean, now you're making videos with this girl, genuinely Nisha, and everyone is speculating that this is your new lady or whatever. We don't know. I mean, it could be, it could not be. Are you gonna go live with her now in Milwaukee? Or are you gonna go back and live with your other sister? What is going on? <sighs> this situation is just, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Walk was always saying in his videos that he was not planning to move to Florida. I believe that that's the reason why Walt felt like he didn't want to give her any money towards the rent in Florida. 
this is my take on the whole situation. Adrian, you should have gotten or been a better communicator with your brother when he first came to live with you. You should have communicated better, meaning like sit down and lay some ground rules as to what it is that he was doing, how long he was doing it, et cetera, et cetera. I know you was excited to build this new front, newfound relationship with your brother and everything, but look what happened. It wasn't worth it. As I say, stated earlier in the video, I have family members that have been in my life my entire life and it wouldn't have went down like that. I'm sorry, it wouldn't have went down like that. Walt, well, it sounds to me like you need some type of therapy. You need therapy. You need therapy so that you can figure out why is it that you have commitment issues. You have commitment issues. And you, sir, over 40 year old man, need to get over it. Go get some counseling and get a place of your own. You said you was broke, you had no money, but you, according to your sister Bethany, went and got on a plane at the last minute and the whole time you was live on your way to florida you kept talking about you how you're not getting on no plane you're not getting on the plane unless you have a parachute but i guess you know desperate situations calls for des desperate measures and although you said you wasn't getting on no plane on no parachute i mean without a parachute i heard you on another live video saying that you gotta go to jamaica you can't go to Jamaica unless you get on the plane, but I'm happy that you finally got on the plane and now you have overcome your fear of flying. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. But Walt, you can't live nowhere for free. You can't live nowhere for free and you didn't do it with Cindy. Why would you do it with your own sister, your blood, your sister? I believe her. I believe everything that Adrian said on that video. I do, I do, I do, I do. Okay. I believe everything that Adrian said on that video. She might come off wacky and cuckoo or uh, whatever but I don't think she lie well then again she do lie sometimes because she said that um what's his name Nate tried to hit on her or come on to her so let me let me take that back because she do lie but this situation I, I don't think she lying about it well, you're going to have to do a video or something <laughs> telling your side of the story for these situations because you're not looking good out in these YouTube streets right now, bro. You're not looking good. You're not looking good. But anyway, I'm trying to think. Let me think. Is there anything that I'm missing that I wanted to talk about in this video or not? I think that's it for this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop it up in the comment section. This video is going to be a, a little bit long, it, longer than I expected and wanted it to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had so much to say, but guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button on your way out, tap the notification bell so, so that you'll know when I upload another video, comment, share, and all that good stuff. I said, like it, right? I said that already. <laughs> but as always, oh, not, not thumbs up. <laughs> Peace. 
love and hair grease. Bye now.